I actually really love that answer. That was uh, probably the best way someone's answered that question. Uh, so, um, what do your friends and family think of this? I mean, you said before you didn't really like to say it out loud, but now you want people to know what you think. But, you know, have your family always been supportive of this little go dream of yours? And have your friends, you know... I mean, I didn't really tell my dad about it for the, like, year and a half that I spent just grinding out games and being awful. Um, but I started telling him, basically I started telling people once I started having money coming in to show for it, because people, if you go up to someone, you're like, yeah, I play video games professionally. They're like, oh, cool, dude. And then you're like, yeah, I won $5,000 over the last semester. They're like, what? And then they get really interested. So I kind of waited to tell most people until I had some kind of hard dollar amount. Or when I tell people I give lessons for fifty dollars an hour, they're like, "What?" <laughs> so um, my dad's been supportive. I think he's—I'm not sure what he would say if I told him that I was going to drop out of school to play StarCraft and move to Korea, which I'm not planning on doing, but I've considered it a number of times. Um, but as long as I stay in school, I think he's fine with it. My friends have all been my my friends, like people that I'm actually have been friends with for a long time. They all think it's really cool, um, and some of them have used it as an explanation for why I always used to beat them in video games when we were younger. <laughs> they would like we played Smash, we played Dota, Warcraft Three, Starcraft, Counter Strike, and whenever we found a new game that the group of people I was with liked to play, I would just play it more and more intensely than they did until I was better than all of them. So I was, like, the best at every game that we played. And then I became, like, a StarCraft II pro gamer, and they're like, oh, well, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that was a good uh, answer. Most people are just like, oh, yeah, they're supportive. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> My mom doesn't really care, but, you know, it's cool. But I actually, uh, I like all of your answers so far, there, you know. Seems like you're really passionate about what you're doing, and that's really cool when you know the programmers are like that, especially from you know, the spectators' point of view. Now, out of every tournament you've done, doesn't matter if it's just a silly online one, um, you know, MLG or anything. Um, which one would be your favorite favorite bleh, favorite so far, and then which one did you have the most fun in? Uh, do I have a favorite? Let me look on Liquipedia for my own page, which is conveniently the first thing that comes up when I type L-I into Firefox. <laughs> um, favorite tournament? I don't know. It, it would probably be... If I had won IEM New York, it would be that tournament, because I beat Huck in the semis, and that was really nice. But I lost to Phoenix, so that sucks. So fuck that tournament. <laughs> um, I don't know. I played. I did a the TL Open. I also really liked. I don't know if you know. Well, I'll just summarize it because I'm sure some people don't know. After I went to Assembly in Finland, I lost to Huck in the round of 16, and then I played TL Open later that day and won, which qualified me for TSL. But I ended up, I was in the LAN center, like, by myself until 3.30 a.m. Like, that's when I finished playing the finals against Xerax. Yeah, after I 3 0 him? Yeah, you 3 0 yeah, him pretty easy. I 3 him in, like, 20 minutes. It was awesome. Yeah, uh, I remember, I forgot where, I, it might have been, like, listening to someone else's stream or something, but someone said, it might have been day nine, he was just like, yeah, QXC was up all night and then qualified. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know. During the last like the last semester, not this semester, but the previous one, I 3-1 Sen, and I 3-1 Moonglade in two different tournaments, and won a decent amount of money, and then 3-1 Stalife right at the beginning of December to win the EG Masters Cup. I think the Masters Cup would probably be my favorite if I had beaten Hydra and gotten the laptop, but let me tell you, playing StarCraft is really tiring. Playing StarCraft all day in a tournament is exhausting. Having to play Hydra after playing StarCraft for eight hours against in like four or five different people, not possible. Just did not happen at all. It was like the quickest 03 or 02 or whatever in my life. It was awful. Um, 
So long story short, probably TL open. Although that may depend on how well I do against Genius. Right. Um, so I'm also on your Wikipedia page here, and if you scroll down, there's show matches. Um, you've played quite a few show matches uh, throughout Wings of Liberty and Beta, and um, you've won most of them, it looks like. Um, out of all these show matches, which one did you like the most? Uh, well, let me look. Let me see what I actually played. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know, because a lot of the ones that I won weren't against particularly good people. Right. And a lot of the ones that I lost, well, I don't, I'm never going to have a favorite that I lost in, so. I'm just going to say that my favorites were all the ones that I won, and my least favorites were all the ones that I lost. All right. Well, I know my favorite was when you teamed up with Artosis and played against the <laughs> in a row. Even though you guys did get 3-2, that one was actually pretty fun to watch. Um, do you that was like awesome. I lo- games? Sorry, say that again? Do you like doing team games like that with you know, players? Like- uh, no, I hate team games. <laughs> Particularly since I think I had to carry like every single game in that series. <laughs> and I was that was when I played Protoss in 2v2s, yeah. so I had I went carriers like every game. Yeah, that was really special. <laughs> Still pretty fun one, in my opinion. Um, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's it for all of our major questions here. Um, so, unless there's anything you want to address to all your fans, all to your haters, or there's something you want to talk about that we did not talk about, um, you know, go ahead and plug your you know sponsors or shout-outs to whoever you want. All right. You're going to like this. To all my fans... I'm sorry, but you may have to keep waiting a little bit longer. To all my enemies, just you wait. It's only going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> um, check me out on Twitter. I'm QXC0000, four zeros. I also have a Facebook page if you search for me. Um, and I tweet when I have matches or I put up replays or when I find a new song that I want to share with you guys. Um... Yeah, check out the Root Gaming website, root-gaming.com. I think that's everything. That's Actually, really uh, just saw one last question when you talk about replays. You recently released a replay pack of like a shitload of replays. Um, did you just grab everything you had, or did you actually... Yeah. Specific- okay, that's what I was no, curious I, just- <laughs> I went through. I'm like, this is a shitload of games, and some of them suck. Like, he's just raping this kid. Why? <laughs> I hope he didn't pick this one, because this one's not that entertaining, but... Okay, I'm going uh, to no. The way I do replay packs is every time something big happens, like when I left for Madrid, I did a replay pack. And when I finished, like when MLG was over, I did a replay pack. And what I do is I just take all my replays, cut and paste them into another folder so that my the folder where the replays save automatically is empty. Then I... Um, Upload that set of replays, which is just all the games I played on that computer between the last time I released a replay pack and right now. And I upload that and make a post about it, and then I just start over. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, because some people are very, uh, you know, they like to pick through replays and like, this has to yeah, be the perfect I, replay pack. But when I, I was... I don't care. I was, I was casting some of your games for my channel. I'm like, I just downloaded this QXC replay pack. I'm going to have, like, 50 of his games. And then I started <laughs> casting some of them. I'm like, that game sucked. He just, like, killed a Zerg with four Hellions. That wasn't good. <laughs> but, okay, I'm glad I, I figured that one out. But, uh, yeah, all the things he just linked, his Twitter, his Facebook, I'll put in the description down below for all the viewers. Uh, and um, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, we will be interviewing In Control tonight. And then also uh, Root Minigun tomorrow and Artosis very soon, so get ready for those ones. And um, thanks again, QXE, for doing this interview with me. Um, it gives myself a shit little exposure, and then yourself just a little bit. you probably get like 5,000 views. So there's 5,000 <laughs> more fans. But uh, thanks again for coming on the show. That's good. No problem. It's nice. Nobody's asked to really interview me for a while. They're all like, 
it's it's really interesting how quickly you can fall off the radar if you start performing poorly. Well, hopefully you're going to dominate TSL3, uh, or at least <laughs> knock out two Koreans back-to-back. That would be the biggest upset ever, and then you'll be, you know, top of the radar again. But, yeah, yeah, I think so. That's it for now, guys. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, and see you in the next interview.